Hey y'all, out here at Detroit Autorama 2014 and I got a beautiful 67 vet street machine, street rod, just a gorgeous custom. And uh, I'm lucky enough that the builder's here that owns the shop, he's gonna be able to do an interview with us and uh, tell us a little bit about it. So let me run Dino down and uh, we'll take a look at this car. Dino, how are you, brother? Good, Scotty. How are you? Good, good. How's it going? Good. Everybody wants to shake my hand, unfortunately. <laughs> you know, that's a, that's the, being the nice guy. I understand. I'm tell just, me, uh, tell me a little bit about this hot rod. Well, we got a '67 Corvette Stingray um, that's been heavily modified. It's got a 502 big block with a five-speed Tremec transmission on it. And uh, what's cool about it is that um, it's been lowered on a C5, fully polished, independent suspension uh, with coilovers. So it's and not on bags. No, it's That's not it. on bags. That's it. That's ride height. That, that is ride height. Ride height from the side exhaust to the ground is exactly two and a half inches. Right. Now the clearance on the drivetrain is about three to about four inches down the middle. Right. Because um, initially he wanted to drive it. Uh, and then he says, hey, you know what? Let's make a step at the Riddler one. So we're here for the Riddler. Beautiful car. I'll be honest, I, I mean, there's going to be so much I'm going to tell you about what I like about this. First thing that jumps off at me, you got the stinger hood on it, but you didn't do the whole stripe. You just did the uh, stinger part of the hood, Correct. which kind of is cool because it's just the stinger part, right? Correct. I mean, yeah, you got to get it, you know, so now. Well, what I wanted to do is I wanted to take like an Italian approach to right. an American classic car. Right. I didn't, I'm not into changing the style to like trying to fit a new 2014 vet. With the 67. Right. It's all about honoring and uh, paying homage to the designer of the Corvette and just enhancing on it with cleaner lines, making everything more refined. Like you molded your, like this 502 looks like it's molded in too. Correct. Into that thing, well, into the, the hood. The two badges molded as well as the, the flag, fender, cross the, flags. The cross flags on the fenders. Uh, we did that. Man, I like that. That's a nice little touch. I like the flat up under the up under the hood. It's black, but it's flat. It's just very clean looking, Correct. you know? Well, my whole thing was with the engine car was to try to make you look like an engagement ring. Right. So like That's the guy how it's was coming out with Super Bowl ring is what I said. Exactly. You got the, you got a ring box and you open it up and the ring is the center of the attention. It's clean all the way around. Exactly. It's exactly, exactly. how it's exactly how I do it. That's, That's what you, That's how I describe it. Achieve, now you did it. You nailed it, you know? That's for sure. Man, and how many horsepower do you know? Um, I think it's pushing close to like 575, 565. Right, just good reliable yeah. horsepower. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, mean, did you do any other body mods? Oh yeah, there's been a ton, a ton of body mods. Uh, we actually uh, channeled the body over the frame about three and a half inches. Yeah, you could tell. And then we chucked out, we, we, we cut out the whole firewall, we cut out the whole floor pan, the back section, it's been tubbed. It's got about 11 and a half inch tires on the back side, eight and a half inch up front. Right. So the frame has been narrowed in front, narrowed in back, and widened in the middle of the car. So that we can get it to fit nicer. Um, get a little more support too, right? You got yeah, more support. Right where it needs, to, where people are sitting, and I guess, I don't know if that's well, it. I may be all what, crazy. What, what Corvette used to do is they used to have, like, say, steel embedded into the frame mounts with the seat belts. Right. And you're actually held in by fiberglass. And that was the old technology, the old engineering. Right. Well, what we did is we actually made steel that's reinforced into the frame so that the seat and the seat belts mount to something steel, not just fiberglass. Cool. So if this was to drive, you know, you'd be safer, safe. a little safer, yeah, yes. yeah. No, that's beautiful though. I love the interior too. Did y'all do that? You kind of gave that a Ferrari look to it. Yes, uh, that was our whole intent. Uh, the, the whole interior is 110 percent custom. Uh, there's, it, it looks like it's something that you can buy, but everything is custom. No, it doesn't look like anything you can buy. It's still got the same form on the dash because, again, as you stated, you didn't want to pull away from the original styling. Correct. You just wanted to modernize it or add a little bit of import flair to it. And, Correct. And with the, with the flat gray on there and the gray gauges, you can sure see that, you know? Correct. And, and what basically Corvette had six gauges. We went with the three and one gauges to clean up the dash. Right. Um, the whole interior really was designed around the clock, ironically. So all the bezels, all the gauges are custom made, but you have a full surround sound stereo system in this, and its controls are in the bottom clock on the very bottom, which matches the top. That's right. So that controls everything. And you just plug the USB into it, and you pull all your music from the USB. I got you. Um, everything's hidden in the back. Uh, we can completely tear every panel out of the car yeah. for complete serviceability in about an hour, and put everything back. So there is nothing glued 
like a, a normal shop would glue everything down and fasten with glue and staples. Right. Everything come out, service it, and then we put back in the way you see it. Very practical building. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And I love these these uh, covers on the side pipes. That's it's just clean looking. With the, with the the what am I trying to say? The chicken wire behind it. It's not the right term. Well, but <laughs> that's a bad term. No, the chicken. You know what? It, it's it's hard to you know either cheese grater, chicken yeah. wire. <laughs> right. There's not a real good term for it. Right. Uh, but it looks good. Well, it looks good. And once again, the Ferraris kind of had that uh, kind of going on with their thing. Uh, we also did it through the vents for the hood, the side vents too. But we just used the different, um, uh, say. Uh, Size. Color, yeah, size, I guess. things of that nature. Man, you uh, rocked it. We basically it. chromed it, argent silver. Uh, also, one, one thing is that the wheels have red lines on them. Uh, we actually grooved in, we machined in the red line into the tires. Oh, I, wanted, I see it now. I wanted a different take on That's red not lines. just a pinstripe. You no. had that cut in there. Correct. Those are machined in there. Sweet. Nice roll pan in the back, too, right? Yeah, Beautiful. Down the, back, down the back roll pan, what we want to do is something a little bit different. Everybody went with the diffuser, and with the diffuser, it hangs down. It was more aerodynamic practice or practical. Right. Um, we're not doing 200 miles an hour with the car. Everybody knows it. So what we did is we did an inverted uh, rear diffuser, uh, so that when you're far back, you can actually see the narrowed C5 uh, independent rear end yeah, with all can. the polished coal. Beautiful. Um, and then also too, we did all LED lights, and even the third brake light is in the fuel door. Really uh, here? Correct. That lights and up when you hit the brake. Who is that? Here we can put the lights on for you. Man. Show you guys. Turn the power on. Well thought out. Did you all? I guess you all work together on this. Well, this is kind of like what we call a divorce build. Okay. Meaning that. It's gone to two other shops before it came to us. Right. So we actually oh, had to deal that. with other... That is very cool. Other prospects that, or other false ideas that are put into the car. And now what we have to do is we have to undo them because even though they were done the majority correct, it wasn't good enough for the build of the car. Right, I got you. So basically we had to kind of start from scratch, but we had to keep a lot of stuff that was done because the economics was involved too. You don't want to just burn up people's money. No, and the thing about it is, is it all sounds like a good idea when you start, but two years into writing checks, most most of your clients are starting to get tired of that. Their arms getting sore from writing checks. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Can you open that door and let me get a shot from this Absolutely. side? That is just, I mean, it's just a gorgeous car, brother. And I like how you put the Corvette emblem on the seat belts too. Well, we Very do cool. things like that. Um, and if you also, and I pay a lot of uh, pride to this, is that. Uh, our interior speakers, I, I really don't like laying speakers up on top, they have to be thought out. Right. Um, our kick panels, our rocker panels, they're all one piece with integrated component speakers. So that. it comes out as a whole, and it's probably about maybe three and a half, four feet long. Right. And it kind of sweeps underneath the, the carbon fiber seats. Because all the seats are carbon fiber. Um, you know, and we, we cut down the headrest to, to make sure that it was still paid on instead of putting it down. No, I see it's a little thinner, and you kind of got that, again, that Ferrari look in it when you thin that seat up, but yet you kept the styling, the look of the well, Corvette seat. I'd like to say yes, and that's all pluses, uh -huh. but at the same time, reality is a big guy can't get in with big seats. Right. So by getting a thinner seat, it, it made a whole bunch of room for the car. So I got a you. big guy can get in the car, such as yourself. Right. We can slide in and feel really comfortable in the car. So it added a lot of more, uh, more clearance more height for I'm gonna length. tell you you know even if I had to cram myself in there I think I I think I feel comfortable oh, in it yeah you, you do that's just yes, a nice do. job job yeah I'll shut that door let me slide sure. by there and we'll get to the other end of it where uh where's your shop located we're uh in LaGrange uh we're a half hour south in Michigan of uh no LaGrange Illinois oh, okay we're a half hour southwest of Chicago um, we're actually on the second generation. Uh, my father is still with us, and we're going on 47 years. What's the name the of the shop? It's Custom Cars Unlimited in LaGrange, Illinois. And do you have a website? Uh, yes, it's customcarsunlimited.com. 
Um, and the email is uh, customercarsultd at sbcglobal.net. What about Facebook? People do Facebook. Are you uh, no, I'm not in Facebook. I haven't gotten to the technology. I, I usually you. can't make it outside my own four walls of the business. I got you. you know, so but you do have car. a website. Yes, sir. Phone number and contact information is all there. Correct. Cool. Correct. Dino, thank you so much. Hey, Scotty, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate Anything it. Anything else you want to tell me before we go? Um, I know there's a just, lot. It's, I'm, it's I'm hard. just, you know, I'm hoping for a very good turnout. Yeah. And I pretty much do it for the car. Tell me this. There's a bunch of guys back in the shop that don't get the data boys that they probably deserve. Anybody we should give a shout out to that did a lot of work on the oh, car? Oh, there's a lot of guys. There's uh, Kevin and Steve in our paint department, uh, Scott and Iggy in our body shop. Uh, Assembly Jerry is one of our biggest guys, been with us for 32 years. Uh, since I was a grasshopper. Wow. Um, he's been with it. Uh, Ogden Top and Trim with the wrapping of the leather of the interior. And um, I mean, we can go on and on and on, but I don't know if you have enough video cameras for I got that. you. We just want to thank everybody who had a little piece of doing this car because it turned out beautiful, guys. Well, and, once again, thank you. I appreciate it. And that goes to your shop, but it also goes to the client that brought the money to build it and exactly. to all the guys that lost sleep over building it. So exactly. We want to make sure credit gets where credit's due. I appreciate that. Dino, thank you so much, brother. Thank you, Scotty. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. Folks, there you go. That's one beautiful 67 Corvette from uh, Detroit Auto Rama 2014. Just so many things on it I like. You know, it was one that the world had to see. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Have a good night. See you.